What is up guys, it's Taki on Cosplay here. So today on this video, I'm really excited for this because um, yesterday uh, I was in town and I decided to buy some New Girl stuff, like some new ones. So uh, recently I picked up uh, not one but two, I was uh, not one but two uh, boxes of um, mini boxes of uh, Yu Gi Oh Legendary Collection, uh, was it 20, uh, 25th anniversary, um, uh, you know, collector's edition or collector's. Um, Edition or something like that, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's just I'm really I'm really happy I got this because um, I seen it on videos and YouTube and all that stuff, and it heard is really good. I mean, I'm glad they brought this set back, but it, there's a difference actually. So, but be before I'm going to open this, I'm going to show you the back and stuff, right? So, so basically, you get obviously the three of them: the dark magician, blue eyes, and red eyes, and then even the Egyptian gods as well. And then, if you wonder what's that one about? So basically, that um, I it, it comes with a quarter of a century of the the hollow from either one of these cards, so randomly, so you never know which one. So I'm hoping to get all of them, but I'm hoping to get the mostly I want is the uh, obelisk or uh, what is it obelisk or blue eyes. I mean, but I won't mind getting any other ones, but um, I want I rather want to collect them all. So I'm really excited for this. This is like a new edition, so but like you know like a wee bonus. I'm glad uh, I'll show you what the was it the quarter of the century hollow what it looks like. So it's going to be really good. And then the packs you've got is a Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, Dark Crisis, and uh, Vision of Chaos. So the, this one's a little bit different. Um, the pack because the, the, they're reprinted, right? But the the label on the weak corner says twenty fifth. Uh, was it the quarter century uh, logo on it? So that's uh, that's like a special one. And also that. Um, the ho the hollows in it are a little bit different, so you get one rare and then a hollow with it. So that they've added that as a bonus. So, so yeah, I'm really excited to open the, the two boxes. So let's get to it. If you wonder where you uh, where you can get this, you can get it in the, either your locals or you can get it from the online as well. And um, I I can't believe the prices are that expensive, man. I mean, it costs I can't believe they're like what thirty pound each for them. I mean, so I didn't expect that. I thought they were like. Um, about twenty five pound or something, but no, it's just I think it, the re I think the reason why they were thirty pound because because of the quarter of a century of the 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 random card you get. So, but I'm excited to see what this looks like. Wow, I'm going to try buy more of this actually. I really am. But this is the first time opening this by the way. So, this is, I love this box set. I mean, so obviously you got the obelisk in there. So, oh, I can tell. What is inside the back? So that can see. This is what happens with the the random uh, promo card, uh, random packs or promos like this. I think they need to change the the packaging. I think I would say because uh, it kind of spoils it. I would say so. That's my opinion, man. They could have changed it, man. I mean, so but uh, so classic, man. Look at it. I mean, it brings my childhood actually. So I'm gonna put this back. So there's the packs. I'm gonna show you anyway. Look at this. That's so. This is like my childhood, man. This, I mean, I love this. I'm definitely going to try and buy more extras, and I'm going to keep some oh, one or two sealed ones, because um, just in case in the future uh, the price will go up, and then the, the chances are you'll never see this again, and then the shops, uh, you know, in person, but you only when when only one way to get it is online. But I can tell the price will go up, you know, crazily. Uh, I can tell they're going to go sold out really quick as well, but it's so so ridiculous. But yeah, so I'm going to show you the packs actually first before I'm going to open the promo. So we got Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, Barrel Servant, Dark Crisis, and Evasion of Chaos. So I'm really excited to open them. So, but I'm going to sort them out. Yep. Okay. So that's that done. Let's open it, this one. So. So yeah, they kind of spurred it behind, so that, that you can tell which one it is, the quarter century one. So, but I'm going to show you the hall anyway, because some people, some of you guys might not know what it looks like. So actually, so, so obviously you got Obelisk of Mentor, Slife of the Sky Dragon, Winged Dragon of Ra, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, oops, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and they will show you the quarter century Slife of the Sky Dragon. Look at that. That's the that's the haul it looks like, guys. So the, I think this is a really good collect for collecting. I mean, so and I want to see. Yeah, it does have a, it has a a logo. It says quarter of a century on it in the bottom. I'll show you anyway. So I don't know if you could see. Uh, hopefully the reflection uh, works. So you could probably yeah, there it is. Uh, there you go, guys. So it says quarter twenty uh, fifth uh, quarter century. So that's uh, like a special like uh, the special uh, hollow um 
they made so because they they did that with the OCG before with the 20th uh, anniversary um, and then even the uh, quarter century one as well so but I, I, I'm i glad that they brought this back I'm glad they brought this out for the first time ever as a was it the the special hollow like the the quarter century real with it so um, I'm glad they did that because they they did it with uh, was it the OCG a lot but they haven't done it in TCG for the past couple of years until now and I, I'm thinking to myself like why don't we get the same I mean it would have been better so yeah that's I'm happy with that they got it out eventually so let's open the packs by the way guys so because I have no idea what I'm going to get actually hold on I'll set this on top actually so just to show you the packs so so I'm going to open up the Invasion of Chaos first we're going to do Legend of Blue Eyes last actually so I'm just excited to see what I get so okay I'm definitely keeping the empty pack sealed because I feel like collecting them I mean so okay we've got Manjo the 10,000 hands sorry, which I need so some old classic cards in my mean it's just nostalgic man I mean I really like them we've got Stray Lambs as a rare and Ah, uh, no, no hollow, so not that hollow yet. So, because back then you only get either hollow or uh, sup, uh, either rare or the hollow. Back then, but see this new reprint, you can get hollow, hollow and no rare and hollow. Just depends on your luck. So, but it's really cool to see some nostalgic cards though. I mean, so really, really cool. And then we got Dark Crisis. I think I have it. My when I was a child, when I bought this set of Dark Crisis, there weren't it's, some of the cards are okay, but they weren't like. Um, Caught my eye on if you know what I mean. So there, except one, there was Kaiser Glider, which is quite good. I I quite like that card. So I'll draw my trio. But there's, some of the cards are not too bad. I mean, I wasn't like I was only young at the time. Oh, Pandemonium man! I was hunting for that card ages, man, when I was young because I wanted to play. Was it Mizero Deville? Eh, you need Lord Zero to do it. So and we got Dark Bishop Archfiend. So Archfiend cards are okay because I'm not used to it as well when it first came out back then. And nothing. Okay, so it's not bad, it's cool. Oh, Fairy of Spring is quite good. Um, but no, some of the cool cards though, and there was Zolga as well, so. But no, it's really cool to see some old classic ones, so. We got Pharaoh Servant to open, so. Pharaoh Servant is like mostly traps and stuff. It has Jinzo and uh, Empire Order, which is the two, <clears throat> the two highest ones. Uh, Buster Blader was in that set as well. So it was really cool. I mean, we got Island Turtle, huh, cool. Oh, a Sky, oh, what was it called? Sky Scout? So basically before it used to be called uh, Harpy's Brother, but they kind of changed it, man, I mean, so I think, I don't know what for the reason, so. Morphe Joy number two, wow! I've never seen that in ages, man, that's that a really good card, but it's like one of those annoying cards to against it, I mean, so. Whoa! Jinzo! Whoa! Oh, shit! Yes! I got Jinzo! What the heck? Oh my gosh! No way! What? I'm shaking right now. What the heck? <laughs> oh, what man, I can't believe it. I need to share this to my friend, man. I mean, this is insane. Oh my goodness. Oh, so, so fresh. Oh, I can't believe I got Jinzo. <laughs> no freaking way. And then I got other cards as well, but no, Jinzo, man. No way. I never thought I would get Jinzo in this. I told you. Oh, no way. I, I, I'm, I'm like lost for words and speechless guys, this is insane. Oh, that's, that's amazing, man. If you wonder how I managed to buy these boxes, like, they were, they basically have played like, in stock in the shelf, right? And I just decided to pick the ones that are my lucky ones, so, instead of someone else getting it for me, so, but, yeah, I, I can't believe I pulled that Jinzo, man, that's insane. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna open Spell Ruler, Spell Ruler is like, um, like Toon cards and all that stuff in that, and then Cyber Jars in that set, and uh, was it Serpent Night Dragons in that set, and Blue Eyes Toon, so... But, I can't believe I pulled Jinzo, man, that is amazing. I don't know if that's the first time we pulled a Jinzo in that, uh, in a pack, I mean, in that hollow that back then when I was a kid. I don't think I pulled it before, but we got this card. And... Oh, Giant Trudy, nice! I think this card's banned, but it's still a good card, though. Giant Trudy is really good back then, I mean, so... Super rare as well, so... I'm quite happy with this, so actually, I'll, I'll take it. So, and they got Upstart Goblin, I need that as well. Upstart Goblin's a really good card, I like that. And then we got Metal Raiders as well. This, this one, Metal Raiders has like loads of good monsters, like, um, what is it? My, my favourite card, my favourite card in that set of Metal Raiders would be 20 Headed Defunded Dragon, the fusion card. And then it's got Black Skull Dragon in that set, and Gate Guardian in that set as well, both of them are secret, I think, so. 
but no, Black Skull was an ultra rare, and then Gate Guardian is a secret rare, I remember, so, but, yeah, it's crazy. We got Dark Elf, okay, yeah, oh, nothing, Mystic Horseman as well, so, yeah, it's not bad, I mean, some, some uh, Metal Regis is not that bad, actually, it's okay, but, and then we got Legend of Blue Eyes, so basically, this Legend of Blue Eyes has, like, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Exodia pieces in it as well, um, it's got Raigeki, Monster Reborn, Dark Hole as well in that set, so that's hopefully one of the chase cards I will be hopefully getting these one of them, so I wouldn't mind getting the blue eyes, I mean that would be great Let's see We got the, was it Goblin Secret Remedy? And... Ah, nothing It's cool to open in the Legend of Blue Eyes set, but seriously I want to show you this Jinzo man That is insane, I didn't expect I would pull Jinzo in this How ridiculous is that? What? Oh my goodness! I never thought in my years that uh, when I played uh, when I was a kid, like playing Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff, I never thought I would open um, like a packs like that. Like yeah, I pulled Jinzo. That's ridiculous. But anyways, oh that is I'm just like lost for words. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna open this one. So hopefully we'll see, hopefully we'll get something decent in that. So, but if anyone who opens it this um oh if anyone who got bought this and uh, let me know what you guys got because uh, i want to find out what you guys have i mean or what you uh, managed to get from the packs and such so this is the second box and let's see we got let's put this on the bottom gonna fix that later so we got the packs again i'm gonna sit on top actually let's see oh, i've already spoiled myself already well, I'll show you anyway, so the other one I'm happy I got, so at least I'm, I'll take it. So we've got Obelisk of Tormentor, Slifer, Ra, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and Winged Dragon of Ra. I actually like this one, actually. It's, it looks nice, but it's a shame I didn't get Obelisk, but... There you go, there's a quarter of a century one. Looks, look at the hollow, it was really nice. It looks sick though, man. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with it. So, I'm going to do the packs again, so I'm going to do the trick. Blue Eye, Legend of Blue Eyes will definitely be the last one to open, so I'm going to open an Evasion of Chaos. So, Evasion of Chaos has um, Blacklist Soldier on Body Beginning and Chaos Emperor Dragon on Body the End. Those are the two really, really powerful cards, actually. Um, I actually, it's hard to choose between the two, but I do love uh, Blacklist Soldier on Body Beginning because uh, his effect is so cool, and uh, he can attack twice and he can banish a card, uh, banish a monster, I think. And then uh, Chaos Ember Dragon pays a thousand, destroy every card in the field and hands as well. So, but, so it's it was broken back then. So we got Gaia Giga Gale. <laughs> we got Blast and Moons as well. I actually quite like these two cards. I mean, so oh, Chain Disappearance. That's okay. And whoa, I got Livia the Sea Dragon Daedalus. What? Oh my gosh, I didn't expect I would get that card. Huh? <laughs> that's so cool. I've only got this card in Ultra Rare when I was a kid, you know what I mean? But um, it's still a part of my collection, but getting an extra one, I, I don't mind. That, I think that's going to go my personal collection. But yeah, well, these cards are not that bad as well. So, but yeah, that's a good, that's a good hollow. I thought I was going to get like BLS or something, you know I mean? Oh man, that's, that's such a good pack. That's such a good box, man. I picked up, man. Oh, I'm so happy. I mean, especially the Jinzo one. <laughs> okay. Okay, Maju Garzette, so this is the Dark Crisis I'm opening, so Starch Defender. Let's see what I end up getting actually. Oh, we got the, what's it called? The uh, Wicked Bit Breaking Flamberg uh, by Bayou, so. And. Nothing. Let's see some of the cards. Not as bad, it drag down to the wave is quite good as well, so. But, no, this, that's crazy that I pulled to Levy Sea Dragon, I mean, so. If I pull another hole in this uh, Faro Sovereign again, I'm gonna go off my nut because I didn't expect that. And I mean, so you never know these old packs of what you're gonna get. So like when you open them, so but it's so good though to look to re to reopen them or well, open them in the of my childhood uh, sets as well. So Cold Wave as well. Can't believe Cold Wave was banned years ago. I mean, because how broken that card was. Uh, Thousand Eyes Idol. And this trap card here, man. What is that? Yeah, I don't understand that. In the rear. What the heck? Legendary Fisherman. Two ultra rares in that, that second box. Are you kidding me? What the heck? What? No freaking way. That is insane. 
Oh, no way. I'm so happy I got that as well. I mean, that, I, even though I've already got it, but uh, like the old card of uh, Legendary Fisherman, but uh, that's going to definitely go in my personal collection. And then we've got these ones as well. But seriously, man, Legendary Fisherman, what the heck? That is insane. Oh, man, I was hoping for like, uh, like a secret rare or something, I mean, but again, but seriously, man, that's, that's, that's insane. Right, Pharaoh Servant. No, not Pharaoh Servant. It's Spell Ruler. Let's see what I can pick up, man, with this one, so... I wouldn't mind getting in a Toon card. I mean, so... But I don't know what other uh, Ultra Rares are in that set. I can't remember, but we'll see. Because it's so long ago, so, so long ago, this set. I mean, so we've got Sendra, the 10,000 hands. Ah, uh, nothing, so... It's not bad, I mean, so, but... Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous, man. I mean, so... And then we got the Metal Raiders as well. If I pull a um, 20 headed Thunder Dragon in this set, because he's a super rare, I, I wouldn't mind it because I, I do like that card. You know I mean, because that's my personal favorite one when I first got into Yu Gi Oh! So, let's see. This is insane. We got Great Moth. Okay. I mean, so. And. Ah, oh, nothing from that. But. It's okay, I mean, so Great Marvel is alright, I mean, it's not the best, I mean, uh, Legend of Blue Eyes, what can we end with this one, can we end with like, Blue Eyes White Dragon, or Exodia Head, I mean, that would be great, I don't mind Monster Reborn or Dark Hole or Raigeki, I mean, so, but, let's see what can we end with this one, this is like, the pressure is on. See, I, I am nervous by the way, so, because this is the last pack, so we got this card. Okay, let's see, and... What the heck? No way, I got an Exodia piece! What the heck? What? We got, I've got the left leg of Exodia! What? No way, three Ultra Rares in that second box! Are you kidding me? What? That is ridiculous! What the heck? Oh, that is insane! And then for the other ones... Oh, that, that is, I don't know how I managed to get a lucky, uh, picked up a lucky mini box of it, so, but, yeah, that, this is insane. I'm so happy I got the, the stuff I need, but even though it wasn't enough, but I can tell I'm going to end up buying more, definite for sure, but, yeah, that is, that is insane. That is insane. I cannot believe that. Oh, I, I'm, uh, I'm lost for words, I mean, but anyways, that's all that, that I've opened, guys, so, but... I'm happy with the box I bought, and I'm definitely going to be buying more for sure. I mean, so before they they don't have it in stock in shops anymore. But I'm going to show you some the recap of the hollows and stuff, if I can get it out. That is so yeah. So the rares are just nothing. So I probably won't show you that. So the two good hollows from the first one. So it'd be Jinzo and Giant Trunade. So I'm happy with these two. So but this Jinzo man, I can't believe I pulled that in the pack. That is that is ridiculous, man, from it. So the second one. The mini box I pulled, so they got Livia the Sheik, Livia the Sea Dragon Daedalus, Legendary Fisherman, and then the Exodia piece, I mean, the left leg. I cannot believe I pulled these cards, I mean, I would never have thought of that. This is madness, but I love the, the pulling, pulling the packs and then just, you never know what uh, hollows you will get, but that is amazing. I'm just so happy after that, so, but... Yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, this My reaction of this is just amazing. I'm just so happy with that opening my nostalgics, but I'm definitely going to be buying more for sure, and then I'm going to keep one or two of them, the sealed ones, that are, you know, just a personal collection seal, sealed Yu-Gi-Oh! products, I'm thinking of um, starting doing now soon. Um, so, yeah, I, I recommend that if you want to... If you guys are curious if you um, uh, should I buy this box or not and stuff, yes, I recommend it, because you never know what the... Um, the, the nostalgic packs that you're going to end up getting, like, you know, from the the, pack, the cards you're going to end up pulling. Um, it's just so good. I mean, it just it just brings your childhood back, you know what I mean? You know, from years and years ago. And uh, the collection of it and stuff is worth it. Like, obviously, you get a lot of card cards in the, uh, these these three cards. So like, it's definitely um, worth getting as well. But the quarter century one, the extra bonus, I recommend it because like, it's, it getting, it's getting more, um, what, how can I say, it's a bit popular now. Um, because the the hollow the way it is so if you're not sure i'll show you again uh, what the hollow looks like um this is what it should be like ho uh, the hollow looks like and then you've got the logo here is the 25th quarter century so i'm this is now i've got the two cards already now i've got four more to go to collect 
so because i'm gonna i want to plan to collect them all of the quarter century cards as well so but yeah i, I i'm happy i mean this is this is wild uh, animal uh, this this set but i love it so but yeah anyway guys i'm gonna have to go now i'm gonna sort all my stuff i need to share this to my friends on my social media and then you know message them that hey i pulled these cards man anyway, it's, it's insane but anyways i better go i'll catch you guys next time so see you 25th anniversary <laughs>